Imagine you are given a Lamborghini for two hours. What would you do? Would you feel lazy to take it out? If you are feeling sick, will you use that as an excuse? Will you say, nah I will sleep for an hour and take it out an hour later? Obviously not. You will probably make the most of those two hours to enjoy this beast. Now one question. Is a Lamborghini more valuable than your life? Definitely no. Then why you wouldn't treat your life as important as a Lambo? Life is ultimately nothing but time. When you waste an hour of your time you waste a percentage of your life. How you spend an hour determines how you spend a day determines how you spend a year determines how you spend your life. How many times have you looked back at the end of the day and thought something along the lines, I didn't get anything done today. Or why did I waste so much time instead of working? Or I only did a 30 minute workout, I should be doing a full hour. It is so easy for us to be critical of ourselves. In fact, it's easier for us to be pessimistic about ourselves than it is to be positive. Let's try a little experiment together. Try saying these sentences out loud. I'm lazy. I'm not working hard enough. I'll never achieve my goals. Now try saying these sentences. I am a really hard worker. I am successful. I am good at what I do. Which group felt easier to say? If you're like the majority of people, the negative thoughts feel much more natural than the positive ones. And there's a reason for that. Research has shown that our brain has a negativity bias. There is a surge of electrical activity in the brain when it perceives a stimulus that it deems negative that is far larger than the activity when the brain detects positive stimuli. This means that we are actually hardwired to be far more sensitive and attuned to negativity than we are positivity or happiness. Scientists theorize this served an evolutionary purpose to help early humans tune in quicker to danger and stay out of harm's way. But in today's corporate world, this means that we're likely focusing a lot more on all the bad that's happened and less on the positive side of things. This negativity bias is why the criticism you receive might stay with you for weeks or even years. While compliments will often be forgotten within the day. It's why social media posts that provoke outrage and anger tend to spread faster than those that share the good news. And it's why it is so much easier to criticize yourself for perceived faults and flaws than it is to celebrate yourself. So how can you combat this? How to start using reframing? Reframing is the practice of shifting the lens through which you interpret an object or event, usually so that you're looking at things from a positive perspective rather than a negative one. For example, when your inner critic says something like, I am so lazy, I only checked two things off my to-do list today, try reframing your negativity so that instead you are celebrating your wins. Reframing this sentiment might look something like this, I finally finished writing that proposal I've been struggling to finish. What a big accomplishment. It can also work for reframing a problem or unkind thoughts about others. For example, let's say your manager dropped a last-minute, time-intensive project on your lap. Your first reaction might be something like this, this is so unfair, she is always taking advantage of me and this was her work, to begin with. While some of those things may be true, they're not going to help you get the project done and may leave you with lingering feelings of resentment toward your manager that could make you unhappier in your job. You could try reframing this experience to something like this, I'm glad that she has so much confidence in me that she knows I can get this done. Or, this is just part of work life sometimes, and I can do it. Similarly, instead of groaning when you see your friend's name on your caller ID who goes on and on about their problems, you can think, I'm glad they know that they can come to me when they've had a hard day. Here are a few additional common negative refrains and ways you might reframe them to start thinking more positively. In turn, become happier. I should have done a longer workout I got up and moved today, which makes me feel good about myself. I only checked a couple of items off my to-do list, I should have done more. I accomplished three of the things on my to-do list today. I'm proud of myself for getting those done. I overslept, I should have woken up earlier. Clearly my body needed to rest today. I'm glad that I listened to it. I shouldn't eat so much dessert. I treated myself today and I really enjoyed it. If it ever becomes difficult to find a way to reframe something, try asking yourself these questions. What am I learning from this situation? What opportunities might arise from this? Is there anything that I can feel good about or proud of about this situation? With a little practice, reframing negative thoughts and critical self-talk into something more positive and gratitude-based will become second nature. And once that happens, you are well on your way to becoming happier every single day. The easiest way to become more productive is Stop sleeping late and waking up late. Force yourself into the habit of waking up early in the AM and try to get some direct sunlight as early in the day as you can. This will do wonders for your circadian rhythm as well as your overall mood and attitude. At least for myself, this was a huge turning point for my procrastination. I wake up at 5, but I find by waking up early and having the plan to execute a couple of key tasks from 5 to 9 am, 
I'm able to accomplish quite a bit, mainly because there are fewer distractions so early in the AM and because I force myself to ignore all other distractions during that time. Get out of the habit of waking up and scrolling through your phone or social. Instead, write a plan the night before of the three things you'd like to accomplish the following day and wake up and attack those three things. Just getting those three things done every day will compound into a huge success for you. In order to rid yourself of these bad habits or procrastination, you'll need to start reshaping how you view yourself as well. Right now you view yourself as someone who procrastinates and enjoys staying up late and sleeping in. You'll need to start instead by telling yourself that you are someone who loves waking up early and attacking your goals because you enjoy the feeling of satisfaction after a hard day's work. These aren't changes that'll happen overnight but start taking one step at a time in the right direction and your life will improve. As humans, we don't like to be in hard situations, we just want to survive, in the easiest and most comfortable way possible. When we do hard things like reading, studying for school, working, exercising, dieting, etc. we have an uncomfortable sensation in our body, and our mind doesn't like that. So in order to feel good, it seeks pleasurable things like watching YouTube, scrolling through social media, food, Netflix, etc. it wants to distract itself from discomfort. That's the reason we procrastinate. So what you can do now, is to delete apps that you waste your time on, social media, games, etc. Download an app that can block the usage of an app after some time. For example, you can use YouTube for 1-2 to two hours, but use it just for school. Make a weekly routine, write a to-do list every morning, or the night before and try to do most of the things you wrote. Also what you need to do is understand yourself better. I like the saying that there are only two problems in the world. One you don't know what you want. Two you don't know how to get what you want. So let's start out with some questions to think about. Is wasting time a bad thing? Are you wasting time doing nothing because you're avoiding your responsibilities? Are you wasting time doing nothing because you don't have anything to work on? Are you procrastinating working on things because you don't know what to do next? If you don't have anything to work on, then you're not really wasting time because it's not being wasted in light of having something better to do. Learn how to manage your responsibilities. Aka how to get on top of your life. It gives you a foundation of how to manage what actions you take during the day. From a high level, to be productive, you should take care of your work, then work on anything of personal interest, and then you are free to goof off. If you don't take care of your work, well, that's not a good thing, right? If you don't do anything outside of work but goof off, then you're probably not going to feel very fulfilled in life, because then all you're doing is work and play and not making any progress on your personal dreams and ambitions. Finally, you do need goof off time to relax and unwind and stop yourself from getting burned out. Too much of any of those isn't a good thing. You can be a workaholic, or you can be a slacker, or whatever. Right now, it sounds like you're more on the unproductive than the productive side of things, and it's starting to annoy you to the point where you want to figure out how to do better. So what would you like to do instead of what you're doing now?